Well, what is a polynomial? I'm not gonna give you a definition. I'm gonna give you examples, okay? So let me uh, write down a few things that polynomials are, or that are polynomials, rather. For example, if I handed you x squared plus 4x plus 3, you'd say, "Ah, oh, look at that polynomial. That's lovely, yay. Or if I handed you um, 3 plus y, oh man, what a cute polynomial. Or if I said, and it's gonna get crazy, if I had like 1 half xy plus 2x, still a polynomial. You have a couple variables there, but you know, still a polynomial. Um, if I handed you, for example, 4 over x plus 3x, that is not a polynomial. And so I could write the, defi the definition of it for you if you really wanted me to, but it really comes down to this. We have to have integer exponents, positive integer exponents. And uh, that's not gonna happen here because technically this is four X to the negative one. So this is not a polynomial. And let's go one more. Square root of X and then plus two. This actually would have an exponent of one half. So that is not a polynomial either. So polynomial, polynomial, awkward polynomial, not a polynomial, not a polynomial. Um, ah, let's do one more. 12, that's a polynomial. <laughs> We don't call it that generally, we'd call it a constant, but it could be a polynomial. It has a uh, exponent of zero, which would not be a positive integer, but it does have an exponent on your x or whatever variable of zero. Okay, so a one-term polynomial is a, well, <laughs> monomial. Two-term polynomial is a binomial. A three-term polynomial is a trinomial. A four-term polynomial is not something we deal with. Quadrinomial, I guess. The degree of a polynomial is, okay, now this is gonna be an oversimplified answer because what I'm about to write would not apply to this guy right here. The degree of this one actually would be two because I would have an understood one here and an understood one here and I would add those together. Um, but the way I'm going to word it is, is gonna be not like that. Because with the polynomials we're going to be dealing with, we're only gonna be dealing with ones that have the same variable. So this definition will apply if we just have like one variable, not two variables in the same polynomial. The degree of a polynomial is its highest exponent. So if we have a degree of zero, then the polynomial is, well, it's like this 12. It would be like 12x to the zero. So you would have an exponent that's not a positive integer, but it is still an integer that is not negative for sure. It would be a constant. That's just a constant. If the degree is one, the polynomial is, you've seen this before, this is linear. If it's two, it is uh, a lot of people say, oh, it's a parabola. The graph is a parabola, but technically it's quadratic. If it's to the third, it is cubic. And then beyond that, we get into some words that we don't use very often, but this would be quartic. And this would be quintic, which we don't use very frequently.